but in many ways I've also realized I've become more of the stereotypical study influencer, which I really didn't want to become. In 2017, Elena Hantrak posted a video on YouTube to supplement a post for her personal blog. After being surprised by the views it received, she decided to continue making videos and vlogged her experience studying law at Cambridge University. Since then, she's amassed over 7 million views, recently reaching 75,000 subscribers when a day in the life video went viral. What does she think of her sudden increase in attention? And why has she started waking up at 4 a.m.? This is The Influence. Your YouTube channel is obviously quite popular, um, and you now have quite like a... Do you, do you not think so? Do you not think it's... Well, I, I think it is kind of popular at the moment, but I also think, you know, it hasn't been popular for very long. Mm. Um, and I feel like growth on YouTube is something so weird because for very long, I had this very small community of, you know, around 5,000 subscribers. And then one of my videos took off and it has now, I think, like 1.7 million views. And that led to a massive increase of subscribers. So suddenly, you know, I went from like 8K to like, 60k and i'm like whoa <laughs> that's insane um so it, it actually hasn't been popular for that long and I'm, I'm still learning and realizing sometimes how big of an audience i have now because i still very much feel like that girl who posts videos that you know maybe a thousand people watch yeah. so that, that's why i often still feel like i i'm this girl with you know a very small audience yeah. and then you realize you have a big audience and when you have a big audience expectations grow yeah, you get a lot more responsibility then, right? Yeah, because then, like, like I, I sometimes still find myself when there's there's things going on, people are like, oh my god, influencers should speak out about this. And I'm like, yeah, influencers really should. And then I'm like, girl, you're an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sometimes, you know, people will message me and be like, you should, you know, do something about this and this. And I'm like, oh yeah, I, I, I actually have an audience. And it's still so easy for me to forget that because I'm always just, you know, on my social medias and I treat them more like private projects. I don't see any of this as a job. So I, I just do that as a hobby because it's fun. And I think that's why, like, I sometimes just don't realize that, you know, a lot of other people kind of perceive me more as a, as a more professional influencer than I really am. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how people just take the number and then use that to label you for what they think you should be in terms of your responsibilities and things like that when really it's not how you feel. It doesn't make sense in a way. Yeah. And suddenly, you know, a lot of more people watch your content. But I, I always think you you always have a responsibility, like no matter how many subscribers you have. Because even if there's just one that trusts you, um, you know, when you say, I like this product, if one person goes out and buys that with their hard earned money, um, then they've put their trust in you. So you you have a responsibility to that audience member. But in many ways, I've also realized I've become more of the stereotypical study influencer, which I really didn't want to become. Oh, how come? Um, like, like waking up at 4 a.m. and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like I always judged these influencers, you know, back in the day. And I was like, you guys aren't waking up at 4 a.m. No way. And now I'm here and I'm waking up at 4 a.m. And I'm like, this is great. And, you know, I'm just like, you used to laugh at these people. <laughs> I know I'm one of them, um, so that's that. But I, I, on the other hand, I feel like I've also like tried out a lot of new things because people like give you so many tips. They're like, right, you know, like I have this great study method, or I know this great app, and you you find so much cool stuff for studying, which I don't think you just discover on your own.